Hello and welcome back to another team building guide. I hope this video finds you well. Today I'm going to be giving you tips on how to build a budget team. Tip number one is to not buy pure axes. Here we have a solid pure tank. It's got Sirius, it's got the beach for a bit of damage and it's 0.114. This is the cheapest one on the marketplace as of recording this video. However, here we have a Pocky tank and Pocky is comparable to Beach, has similar damage. The sort of trade-off is that with the Beast part you have 3 less health and 1 more speed. But you save yourself 0 0.025 and when you're looking at buying 3 axes this can help you get a much higher quality team within your budget range. Tip number 2 is to not buy Virgin axes. Lots of new players they come into the game, they buy 100% pure Virgin axes and it costs them an absolute premium and they're not the best in battle. Here. We have a 6 out of 7 breed axi, the only trade off to it be it versus a virgin is that it costs you more to breed and it's your first team you're not going to be looking to breed anyway. If you were coming into the game to breed you'd want to buy 3 axes that pair with each other well to start a breeding trade. Here we have a solid battle axi, cost 0.1195 and here we have a similar axi which is a virgin which is costing you 0.2 so you save yourselves 0.09 and there's not really any difference between these movesets, they're pretty much as good as each other. The only difference is this breed count. Tip number three is to look for moves with outplay potential. Here we have a regular pure Koi Aqua, it's just got full damage on its moves and no zero cost. And it costs 0.14, again cheapest on the marketplace as of recording this video. And here the other option is to buy one with square teeth. So square teeth is a zero cost, offers you solid damage and as with all zero costs it gives you an opportunity to outplay stuns for free, knock out last stands and with this even catch your opponent off guard by dealing a bit of extra damage to what they expected you to do with uh, the amount of energy you had. And it would only cost you 0 0.103 versus the 0.14. Tip number four is to make sure your team matches up well against popular builds in the MMR range you're expecting to be in. So for a lot of you watching this video, if you are on a budget, you're gonna be within the 1200 to 1500 MMR range. Bird Beast is the team that's most popular in this range. You might face some other sort of uh, floor axi builds that are put together, but nothing is um, common as Bird Beast. So what you generally want to look at to counter Bird Beast is gonna be a double aqua build. Um, this one here that I'm showing on the screen has beast and bug parts to help get through the tank and it also helps reduce the cost because they are off class moves and it, as we've mentioned earlier, pures do tend to cost more than 5 out of 6 or 4 out of 6 axes. So this team is perfectly equipped to take on uh, bird beast because you have the, the midline and the backline which are the same speed so little owls will target the midline axe and then the backline has the koi which is, allows you to dictate when you speed up to overtake birds. Tip number 5 is to regularly check the marketplace for the build that you're looking at. Um, as we can see here up on the screen, the marketplace is very liquid at the moment. 18,600 axes sold just in the last 24 hours. So there's no lack of deals. Something will fall through the cracks. You haven't got people looking at the marketplace 24 seven. Um, so if you are a new player and you have a good idea of what sort of build you're looking for, just make sure you have those bookmarks in. Maybe you're looking at Koi Aquas um, with zero costs, or you're looking at Nemo Aquas with beast and bug parts to help you kill through tanks. You just have that set in in the marketplace and you refresh it every sort of four, six hours. And if something comes up, you just make sure to snag it. And that's really how lots of people find flips is they have a move set in mind that they're looking for. They pick out something that's too cheap, they buy it, and then they relist it for a higher price. So what you want to be doing is getting in before those people that are looking to flip so that you can build your budget axi team. I hope you found this video helpful. Feel free to leave a like and subscribe. And if any of you are still not 100% sure about what you want to do for your first taxi team, I do offer team building, though it does come at a cost, the links for which will be in the description. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.